Hello folks, welcome back for more bonus material in Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. Let's continue with the Time Traveler's house here, shall we? And yes, it's a big slidey block puzzle here, worth 80 points. You have three identical bracelets that you'd like to make into one big necklace. Rearrange the tiles below into a shape that connects all the bracelet pieces in one continuous loop. Yeah, this isn't... And it won't be just... A, it'll be kind of like this wild curving thing, if memory serves. So let's actually get started here, huh? At least they didn't, you know, limit us into what we need to do. But in short, this thing, it can't be one big round necklace, obviously. You have several points here that would be, you know, curved in each direction. So it'll be kind of like, it'll kind of do this and go, you know. It'll kind of do that. So anyway, since there are no straight pieces here, it's all curved. Now, this is going to take long enough, and I'm delaying as it is. Let's go ahead. See what we're kind of doing here? It'll be this nice, twisty, curvy thing, and yeah, we're kind of getting there. Kind of. Not quite, but you know. Still got a few moves left to go. as good as sold. Fun, huh? I knew it! And now that we've solved all of those, look what's open to us. The Puzzle Keeper's House. So let's dive in, shall we? And be ready for the worst puzzles in the game. Puzzle 166, Perplexing Produce, worth 80 points. Line up the four types of fruit below by rotating and rearranging panels with their stylus. The center panel cannot be moved. So let's see here. Hmm. Obviously, we need the top half of an apple here. So, like, there are a few of them around. Okay. How many of each one do I have? That one and that one to work. Uh, three. Okay, I have three bananas. Let's see. So there we go. Now we have a banana. Let's see what else is going to move. Or that doesn't match up very well at all. Okay. Something tells me that that doesn't match up there. But that does.
Let's do something here. That's not gonna help, is it? Because I'm gonna keep moving things. Thought I might go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now nah, that's not gonna work. Right, let's see here. Still not quite right. Still looks off. Nope, still off. Okay, maybe. If you kind of squint at it sideways, what about this one? Both those two are equally... Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, and when I come back, I will be closer here. Because this is just a lot of mixing and matching. So hang on. Okay, this took me about... This took me a little while to actually piece together. And it's a good thing I cut the video, because that was much, much longer than I'd hoped. But anyway, this is what it looks like when finished. This one's as good as sold. I knew it! Yes, it took me way too long. Okay, the impassable gate three. Another slidey puzzle. I hate these. But it's worth 90 points, and it's number 167. You may have figured it out twice before, but this time you will never solve the impassable gate. Well, anyway, let's get started, shall we? Get up there. Come on. Get over there.
this one's as good and as solved. solved. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. In the time machine, the final puzzle in the game. Guess what? It's worth 90 points. Unlike the 99 they kept slapping those bonus puzzles in the, the other games with. This is the time machine's ignition mechanism. In order to prevent accidents, however, a complicated security procedure has been incorporated into the device. To start the time machine, assemble the blocks into a square with the red orb at its very center, and the red orb exactly where it was when we started. Which means we can move this orb if we really want to. So let's see. First thing we actually need to do is get that out of the way. up there Oh wait. Hang on. I gotta I messed up something here. Just one second. I gotta fix it. Okay, got it back to where I started messing up. Let's see. And go there. Then we need to put you here. That's what I did wrong. there, didn't I?
just about ready for this final bit. I think. Couple extra soul. moves in there. I knew it. Every puzzle in the story mode of this game and the bonus mode now. But now that we've done that... Nice stutter there. So weekly puzzles are still pretty much unavailable to me, even though I've tried every trick out there to get an emulator to go over Wi-Fi over a broadband connection. It just doesn't want to work for me. So I appreciate you people that have sent me in all the tips and tricks, and I've tried them all, and none of them have worked. Oh well. I guess that means I'll never want to play Pokemon on an emulator or anything like that. But anyway, I'm going to do one... I'm going to end this video here, and when we come back... Actually, on second thought, I'm not going to end it here. We'll just quickly run through all the other extra stuff that is here. Or no, wait. No, I won't. When I'm, I'm going to end this video here, and the last video will be all of the stuff you see here. Profiles, art, music, etc., and the hidden door. As long as I can get the hidden door to work. So anyway, when we return, we go ahead and finish up this Let's Play. Completely and fully. So until then, take care, folks. See you later.